In essence, the developer plans all the physical structure, builds the roads, creates the landscape package, puts the amenities in, but the vibrant energy, the pulse point of any community are the residents within. Once they enter the community, it's a restful point in time, and I think a lot of people need that private space and time. They need to decompress. It doesn't feel like a super neighborhood like some of these others do. They really have a, a close-knit bond, and I think that ties to the city they live in. From the beginning, Cross Creek is looking at Fulshire as a treasure, a gem that our residents can engage in, take advantage of, help determine the future footprint of that community, that town of Fulshire. You can find real history there looking at the architectural landscape. Uh, we felt like if we could do something that was true to that history, that uh, architecture that reflected that history, uh, then we would feel like and look like we belonged where we were. It's, it's so different than any other traditional neighborhood on the west side of town. The style of communities on the west side has been one of brick walls, manicured lawns, flower beds that require planting year in, year out, and essentially uh, we're breaking that style. There's also a very soft brush stroke in terms of the native grasses. We've very carefully selected a palette of plants that survive well in this location. The generations to follow us are, are going to be live with, a, I think, a different mindset as it relates to a lot of natural resources. We engaged a group uh, by the name of Biohabitats out of Maryland, and they specialize in creek restoration. And what we asked them to do was to take Fluellen Creek back to what it was and what it would have been if it had been left a natural environment. Uh, there's also a, a water quality basin that we've developed, which is one of the first in the state. Very sustainable and self-sustaining. The water's created from the project itself. Uh, they use a process known as fluvial geomorphology that allows them to study the soil conditions, the hydrology of the creek. To an engineer, it's probably uh, maybe sometimes exciting, uh, but to most people, it's, it, you know, it's something that you don't really think of. But it, it's a further polishing of, of water quality that really will be an amenity in the, in the long run. The most exciting thing about Cross Creek Ranch is the reforestation that's occurred. It's been part of the plan from the beginning. Uh, to date, we've planted over 22,000 trees. Of course, it's apparent when you're out there. It provides uh, a texture, if you will, to the community that is not seen elsewhere in the city. We have a tree farm from which we harvest baby trees to put out there on the landscape. I mean, we're taking a completely different approach and turning it into a, a forest on the west side of town, which just doesn't exist. We studied resort pools, and we built in a lot of those elements. Uh, the pool itself has uh, tanning shelves within it. It's got volleyball areas. Nice shade structures with cabanas and uh, just that resort feel. And that's what we really wanted to create. One of many that really sticks out to me is the fitness center. It's over 6,000 feet with uh, just state-of-the-art equipment in it. We get so many people from outside the community that say, how do I join this place? Unfortunately, we tell them you don't get to unless you buy a house. But it's the things that we as a developer want to bring to a community to enrich their life. We have a very close-knit resident group that you typically wouldn't find in a community that's 3,000 acres. I mean, it's going to be a fantastic environment to grow up in.